Mary, are you there? Mary is not around today. Okay. Victoria is running oh, late too. Victoria is running late, so but she will be here. Okay. Um, let me start by announcing this. When I finish doing the big job that is before me, I'm doing a very, very big job that will take me like a month to finish. I discovered that uh, since uh, I started this specialized ministry and business, I discovered that uh, I have done a lot of good things, lots of good things, and I'm very, very happy about it. Um, I want to especially thank Miss Geneva for uh, uh, doing certain things and uh, making it possible for uh, for me to be uh, to do what I do. Thank you very much. And also thank you, Miss Roslyn, and thank you, especially Mary. And thank you, Ladri. You have been very kind. All right. Um, tonight, I want to, I just hope, I just hope that each of you who are watching this broadcast tonight, you were able to watch yesterday's broadcast. I love it very, very much. You have to go back and watch it. There is one of it that is uh, the, the that, that, that broadcast says money, money, money. You know, turning your passion into cash. Uh, Christina, you are on. Not that I've forgotten you, um, but I just want you to be aware that I do not want you to Search. Christina, are you listening to me? Where is Christina? Okay, she's not there. All right. If you happen to watch this broadcast, I'm talking to you people, who are, wherever you are in the world, I'm talking to live, a live audience, okay? So that's why you're hearing names of people. Um... I'm talking to Christina and every one of you out there. If you are searching for an online business or how to make money online and also how to make money outside online, uh, like establishing a real physical business, both online and both uh, outside online are all physical business. They are real businesses. You don't need to search for those things. You do not need to go about searching. That's why we are putting a book together, a video together that will not be, we will not feature it online. It will be sent to only those who are prepared to become millionaires. Christina, are you back on the line? Okay, she's not there. Is someone from Minnesota on the line? All right. There are many of you uh, who have been searching and uh, you've been going to seminars, you've been doing this, you've been going to different business training things in order to start your own business. You don't need to be doing that anymore. I have put together a package for all uh, all my business partners and all my ministry partners so that whatever kind of either online or outside online business you want to do, we got it for you. But it's something that you pay for. It's not free. Um, there are so many jobs that is out there. So We've put the package together and I'm still compiling the package so that you'll be able to look at the different products we have for you to be able to say, this is the business I want to do. And then we want to make sure that it is legal, legit. We want to make sure it's legal, legit. We don't want you to get involved into businesses that people ask you to sign up for this, sign up for that. And you do, you go ahead and you sign up, 
and then they are taking money, uh, they are taking money from your account, from your debit or credit card, or from your checking or savings bank account, and you have not yet even made a, a dollar, and the people are already making hundreds and thousands out of you. I hope people are you getting what I'm saying tonight. Okay. So you see, it's easy for you to want to believe God for a miracle and all of that. But you have to know that I'm coming from three sides. I'm coming from specialized ministry, which is the belief in the supernatural and the knowing of the supernatural in and out. And also I'm coming from the academic world, whereby I am very much involved in the intellectual life. And I'm also coming from a business family. I come from a long line of traders and a long line of business people. And I'm also, I also come from a long line of medicine men, witch doctors, etc. So, so that you just know. I just want you to know those things so that nobody will fool you. When I tell you not to go into certain things, you know that I'm telling you not just because I just want to talk. I just want to just talk. I just want to just say something. But because I have adequate and substantial and competency in those areas. So if you are interested in importing, exporting, all those kind of things, whether you want to export cars, whether you want to export clothing, whether you want to export cosmetics, whatever you want to export to any country in the world, you have to make contact with us. Um, so tonight you have opportunity to ask me questions concerning starting your own business. You have the opportunity to ask questions tonight. It doesn't matter what kind of questions as long as they have to do with business, whether it be uh, you want to build your own business physically. Because I have to finally, we, we, we have gotten somebody in me and with me. I have a bunch of people around me who are willing to spend time. You pay for that service. They are willing to spend time to talk to you about how these things are done. So, so that you don't just walk blindly into things. It's very easy for you to attend seminars and conferences and workshops about making money, becoming a millionaire, a billionaire. You've not yet made a hundred dollars yet. They're already telling you that you're gonna be a billionaire. Excuse me, excuse me, this a noise, um, a very annoying noise. It's piercing. I don't know if somebody is doing something in the background. Please, if, okay. if, if your phone is giving you trouble, please press mute. If you wanna to talk to us, we will. Um, what what do they have to press? Is this star five or star six? Something star like that. Six. Okay, star six. Press mute when you wanna talk. When you wanna say something, you wanna contribute or ask question. You press star six again, and it, your phone will open up for you to talk to us. Please, if if you are on the conference line tonight, if you if you are on the program on this seminar, and you are also at the same time preparing food or doing other things. Press mute. Just, just be kind to everybody else. All right, let's continue. Um, there are many of you who want to get into buying houses, investing in real estate. But you have no idea how to do those things. And you've been promising yourself you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to buy houses, you want to rent houses. You don't even know how to get a loan from a bank. You've been spending your life with the payday loan people and pawn shops and all of that. That's not what we are talking about. You are not going to become anything by going that route. We want you to do something legit, something legal, something nice, something that is straightforward. And I have people, I and my team, we are ready to help you. Also, your credit history, how is it? Have you worked it? How is it to be repaid? So it's not enough for you to want to go and borrow money from the bank. 
when you do not know what you're going to do with it and you've made up your mind that you just want money to go and spend. You don't have the skill of what it takes to be a real estate investor or to invest in different things. So you don't even know what partnership means. Partnership in terms of you bring money and you are looking for somebody to also bring money for you guys to buy houses and rent them out or go into a particular kind of business that you will be involved in. And if not 100%, at least 50%. And if you do not want to be involved in any of those things because you don't want to, you don't have the skill, you don't want to learn, then we will tell you what to do with the money that you have, no matter how little it is. And we will tell you what it can afford you in terms of investment. So stop wasting all your money buying things that you don't need, signing up for things you don't need. Let me also say this to you tonight. Um, I don't know. Geneva, are you on the line tonight? Geneva, yes. are you on the line tonight? Please speak up. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you talk to us about timeshare? timeshare business and why they need to consult our team because you are one of the team when it comes to certain things. There are certain things that you are adequately prepared to do. Yeah, so can you talk to your people about timeshare and why they do not need to get involved in it? Or if they want to get involved in it, how do people go on vacation without signing out their paycheck for other people to enjoy freely? Talk to them. Timeshare is um, basically like renting a room. It's, uh, they say it's your property. But is it really? Like, is it pay for it? Is it really their like property? <laughs> is it really their property? It's like a building. Um, you go. Let's just say you want to go on vacation and you want a nice place to stay. So you, you do a timeshare. So a timeshare basically means you're paying a company to come to lodge at this place, whether it's for a week, three days, but you're paying them every single month, like you're paying rent. And once you get into the state, they give you the highlight and like, you know, you have slots available and it's always available and you come and there's like different, you know, you can get a suite or like a different one bedroom, two, two bedroom. They show you the best. It, it is. That, that's what you get. But when you actually sign on the dotted line and you have to pay them every month now. But when you want to come take your vacation, you put money in, you want to stop you to take your vacation, those days may not be available. And usually yeah. they're not when you're ready. And then so you ask, okay, when when is an available time? And it may not be, you know, available for you, or it may even be six months down the line or a year. Because what is happening is they are basically getting as many people, they're getting the money, but they don't have enough rooms available to service people because they got too many people and not too many rooms. Okay. Another thing that you all have to know is that they are telling you that they are selling your property, but it is a lie. You have to just be aware of that. That is just, uh, it's just a language. It's a business language. When they tell you that they are giving you a deed, a title deed, they can do it that same day, all that kind of stuff is a lie. Right, it, you don't really own it. You don't own it. You make it seem like you do own it. Yeah, you don't own nothing. At the end of the day, if you own it, why can somebody else rent your room? Well, the point is, what I say is this. If it is, if, if you want me to pay 120 something thousand for a period of two to three to four years, to own a piece of vacation. It's a vacation package they are selling for you. Now, if you wanna go on vacation, you can call me and Miss Geneva. I will call her, she's a member of my team, and you pay us. 
and we will tell you we are not the one who is going to drive you around or show you but we will tell you we will show you and i personally because i'm a constant traveler i will show you where you can go on vacation and i can arrange it with those people for you economically it won't break your budget it won't break your 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 piggy bank your bank account it won't break your credit card and also it will go with the flights and you can go there comfortably i will show you let me throw this in i will also show you in whichever city you're going to where to have the best food where the best entertainment are anywhere in the world you pay me and i'll make that good and very economical for you i can help you take a vacation to new york or to miami or to atlanta or to uh, or to las vegas for cheap very economical but the hotel you stay and it will be a luxurious place for you to stay than buying a timeshare okay i mean your job will be to help me sell timeshare to help me and geneva sell timeshare when we want to do our own geneva is done all right <laughs> that will be your job but i don't want you to go and be buying timeshare because you are not buying you are not a, an owner of anything see that hundred and twenty something thousand which you are paying whether a hundred or two hundred or one fifty or fifty bucks a month i can assure you of this anything that you do not own the stone itself and the foundation itself you shouldn't you shouldn't go about claiming that you have something that's why i do not i do not those who are my covenant partners i do tell them not to buy a condo not to buy an apartment but to buy a house i'm just letting you know how it goes this is this is just the way it is you must own it outrightly own the mineral right own the soil, own the building. It is in your name, not in the name of any other person. So don't let anybody fool you that you own a house because you own a condo or an apartment or, or a timeshare. You are not owning anything. If you really own something in a timeshare, Jennifer, are you listening? Are you listening to the, to the argument tonight? Yeah. Okay. If they really want to be honest with you, then there should be a, one of the hotels say if hilton or sheraton or trump hotels or whatever or marriott or, or the windams or whatever they want to be honest with all of you out there the best thing for them to do is to tell you well here is a paperwork signed by an attorney and by you that you own a one bedroom suite in our property and this is where it is in the world and every month when you are not there every month when you are not there every day when you are not there every week when you are not there whoever come to rent it occupy it Spot in it, marry in it, bring their family to come and enjoy and have a vacation in it. That money is your money. That's how it should go. Because they say you are a co-owner. Anybody who uses your suite or your standard room, if that's what you're paying for, that money goes to your bank account directly. You see, I'm smart. I'm smarter than you think. And I can't I can't tell you how many times Hilton has tried to sell me something and other other uh, a vacation. Uh, they, they think that I don't need money. That they are smarter than the rest. Because they will try to force you to buy those things. They will try to make it sound so good. And they will try to give you maybe like a two day or three days or four or five days stay in one of their property 
and they want, and then they will ask you whether you like it. I mean, somebody like me, I have been in great places, great hotels. So those things, whatever they are trying to offer doesn't mean anything to me. It's low standard as far as I know, because I've enjoyed luxury. I, I know what luxury is. So, so I want you to be aware of this. I have, I have uh, a paperwork with me. We have a paperwork whereby um, I have a paperwork here whereby if anybody is caught up with timeshare thing, you can contact you can contact me, and um, we will work out. I will find you a lawyer or a law firm or people who deal with this kind of things, and uh, we will get you out of it. But you will have to pay us to do that, for us to connect you. And then they will cut it out. Okay. So that's one thing that you have to be aware of. Geneva, is there something you wanted to, to put in, to, to chip in? Or anybody who want to chip in something? No, it's so very well. Okay. I mean, there are people who go on vacation every year. They go on vacation. And they want to have time share. But I want you to sit down and ask yourself, can't you organize your own vacation? Why do you need to pay somebody else for your own vacation? Why do you need to do that? Why can't you and I have our own little motels, hotels, develop it to become a big luxury thing for others to come and pay us? Why do you need to constantly be paying people for things that you and I, we can do for ourselves? Many a times I travel because I want to learn. I want to see how others are doing it. I spend time. I don't know whether Jay from Virginia is on the line tonight. I'm not sure. Yeah, because there was one time I was about to travel and I asked her, I said, which hotel should I stay? She said, this is where you should stay. I said, okay, I'm going to stay there so that I can see the way they organize it, the way they put their, their, their suites together. And that was very kind of her. And I've been taking that opportunity, whichever city I go to, I try to stay somewhere a little bit different to find out how they organize their stuff. And I've come to like it. So these are the things that I want you to be aware of tonight. Because many of you have fallen into the trap of people trying to make money from you, um, uh, telling you about businesses and uh, and uh, and the timeshare, uh, trying to tell you to start a business, uh, to buy a house which you are not actually buying no house, sell a product and which you are not actually selling no product. Um, uh, many of these things are pyramid schemes too. And you don't know it, like quick star and things like that. And you don't know. And they should be upfront with you to tell you what it is all about. They want you to sell insurance. Let them come up front and tell you that this is what it is. That even though they want you to sell insurance, that they want you to, um, uh, to bring people. And that's all it is about. The more people you bring, the more money you make. Let them come up front to tell you. This is a pyramid thing. It's about the more people you bring, the more money you have. If those, if those people that you bring, they remain with the company, you keep making money every month. If they leave, then your money stops. They, let them tell you everything up front. But you see, that is why people don't want you to be learned. Because only those who are willing to learn wins. Only those who are willing to learn succeed. So let me ask you a question tonight. Have you ever fallen into the trap of this kind of businesses? Of people telling you to come, let's do business. And some of you who are immigrants, have you fallen a trap to people in the country where you were originally born? Telling you they want to buy you houses, they want to buy you land to build for you. They want to buy a car to do a taxi cab business out there. They want to start a convenience store or a clothing line, a car business, a car lot, and you ship things down there. 
and there was no result. They took it and the money vanished. Even dating, you have to be careful about trying, having appetite to date. And then you start spending money on people who there will be no return. Money back not guaranteed. And you start spending money, sending flowers, balloons, teddy bears, things, chocolate, buying stuff and shipping it to people who the heck, who the hell they are, nobody knows. Nobody knows. And at the end of the day, they vanish from history. You don't even know who they are. And the pictures they were sending to you and the pe person that was talking to you was all fake. And they take your money. And I'm saying this to you because many of you on Facebook and all this mass thing, and there are a lot of evil people out there who have come to use those things to make quick money trying to get into your emotion and especially when they know that you are a church folk you love Jesus then therefore you are cheap therefore you are naive therefore you are ignorant therefore you are not smart that's what they think and you start sending your money money that you should be investing into things that you will have rewards you have money to put away so, has anybody ever fallen into these things that I'm talking about? And do you have any question you want to ask us tonight? Please ask concerning everything that we've talked about tonight. Do when, you, when you spoke of um, why can't you uh, arrange your, your trips for yourself, are, are you speaking of the ministry uh, perhaps going to a, like, a travel service or travel agency? Did you answer that question? But I know the travel agencies, uh, they're legit because you're paying them to uh, find you a room. You're, you're paying them for, yeah, you're paying them to look up uh, hotels and restaurants to go to. But in the long run, they're probably just surfing the internet. <laughs> yep. And you're mm -hmm. telling them what they want, and they're just, you know, going to the hotel. You mm -hmm. know, it may not even be the best hotel. Yeah. But they're tell you're telling them what they want, what you, what you want, and that's basically what they're doing. Is, um, they're searching the internet, and they're putting a package. They may have um, put a package deal together for you. And that package still may be even more if you just went and did it yourself individually. Right. But because you hired someone, you're paying for them, and they're going to, of course, they're, get, they're getting money from you, and they're also getting money from the other folks, too. Right. So of course, it may be a higher price. You may see a cheaper price, you know, price, price for the air flight. But when it's often done, money has to be made, so they're going to spank your butt somehow. <laughs> you may not see that, but there may be some fees and everything involved when you get done. That number may not be what they originally quoted you. Right. Now, let me say this to you, because many of you do not know this. Expedia, Orbitz, Tra is it Travel Velocity, TripAdvisor can go on booking.com. Uh -huh. uh, all these people, Priceline, they all come under, I think they all come under Expedia. They, that's the main mod of them all. Now, each of these groups, they buy they buy rooms in each of the hotels around the world. They buy like, say from Hilton, they can buy like a, a thousand rooms a month. From Marriott, a thousand rooms a month. From Sheraton, a thousand rooms a month. And from the air flight people, they buy, they buy, um, what do we call it? Buy seats too. So that is why sometimes you go to these companies and you see that their prices 
are competitive with either calling the airline itself or calling the hotel itself. Sometimes they don't have people to fill those rooms. So they make the price a little bit lower and people will not call the hotels, not call the airline. And you do not know that these people are trying to sell off what they have purchased for the month. That's what they are doing. It's a big business. But if you call somebody like me, if you want to travel to anywhere in the world, uh, I can organize it for you and find you something that is very economical for you. And it will be done for you. Boom, 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 boom. I have people that, I have a little people out there that are part of my team that will help you for you to do that. And along the way, we will bring them. We are, we are just looking at them and working with them and they are working with us. We will bring them finally to become our partners. Uh, if we have more people traveling around the world, we will. And that will include uh, traveling, uh, your flight, your hotel, and sometimes we'll throw in uh, breakfast and uh, buffet, all those kind of stuff. So that you travel and you don't get broke. That's how it goes. I like what Anthony Bourdain said as I was um, doing my, um, there are certain things I'm learning from, from him uh, during, during this week. And uh, he was asked, when you travel to anywhere in the world, do you need to, where do you need to eat? And I was expecting him, Geneva, listen to this, I was expecting that he was going to say that, that uh, the person should go to the buffet. You, you, you understand? That the person should go to the buffet. You remember what he did? I, I can't remember which, uh, which casino and resort it was that he came to. Uh, but it was Ada Caesars or Planet Hollywood or MGM, one of those great places he came to. And he told them that Wolf Blazer was coming to town to be in that hotel. And so <laughs> that casino prepared, wow, they prepared some of the best meals that they've ever prepared for Wolf Blazer. And after they waited for Wolf Blazer and Wolf Blazer they didn't show up, Anthony Bourdain then went to them and gave them the reason that Wolf has called to, to say that he has cancelled his visit. <laughs> and they told him that, well, since, since he's already here and he's part of the CNN thing, then all this food is his. And so he sat down with his crew and they had some of the most wonderful meal. <laughs> I thought that was pretty smart. <laughs> Oh, wow, 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 wow. I don't know how that will, will that, but now that hit Wolf Blitzer, I don't know how that will hit him that uh, he used his name and got all this for free. That was awesome, you know. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So, um, he was asked, and yesterday when I was watching one of his uh, uh, travel uh, channel, I think that's when he used to do... Um, it's not parts unknown. Which which one was the one he used to do before parts unknown? Um, that he used to use EG 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 pop uh, music. What do we call that? Car car cash 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 cash. Uh, I don't know how many of you love Anthony Bourdain like I do. Um, he used to do. I'll, I'll remember as we get along. Yeah, I think that was when he was doing the other one before he came to ZPZ with CNN. Um, he said, you go to a place that he doesn't recommend that you eat from the buffet, you will die of food poisoning from the buffet, Then, and then they asked him, where should people eat when they travel and go on vacation? He said, go and eat street food. Immediately he said that I knew that Geneva would be so happy with that. <laughs> Geneva, are you listening? I'm having you as my audience tonight. Are you listening? We're listening. Yeah, he said, go and eat street food. 
because that is what the locals go to where the locals go to eat and drink. Eat what the locals eat because that is the real stuff. These other ones in the buffet and inside the, the great hotels where you are, just concoctions put together to please the visitors. But if you want to eat healthy without dying soon, go and eat what they have out there in the street. The only place that he said people shouldn't eat in the street was in India. Lizzie, I'm sorry. Okay? <laughs> Ruby, Ruby and Lizzie, I'm sorry. And all of you from India. That's the only place that he said you should not eat in the street. Yeah. That's the only place. But outside that, he said you can eat any other place in the street. I thought that was pretty awesome. And I know that the many times that I've been to some places and Geneva was there, she always want to go to the street to go and eat and so on. I didn't understand why she was doing that. Uh, but when I heard what Andrew, uh, uh, Anthony Boden said yesterday, I was like, wow, I like this. This is really good. Because I was wondering why when he goes to a certain places, he always go out to eat street food whether in the morning or afternoon or at night, I, I was always wondering. And he said, that is really where the stuff is. That's where the real stuff is. The real good things are there. So, um, Zelina, has your question been answered? Um, not fully because... What, 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 do, what are you actually asking for? What do you want okay, to well, know? What I'm, what I'm actually asking is, just like you and, and all that you were just saying, you said, is there, let's say the partners, some of the partners, may they need uh, a vacation package or whatever, a travel package, let me put it that way. All they need to do uh, is consult me. Just contact you, you me. You said that you, let's say, for instance, someone in, in the ministry can provide that for them. That's that part right there I'm trying to pin down. Okay, listen, this is, this is what I just said. I and my team can help put that together for you. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the short and simple answer to that. All right. Yeah. What other question do you have concerning that? Uh, what I'm saying is, is that something that um, you said that the, the ministry will be doing? Is this that type of business, that type of situation? We have two okay. things. We have two things in our, we have two things that we do. We have the limited liability company that is part of what we do. And then we have the ministry side. That is part of the LLC that we are talking about, not the ministry. Okay. Because many of you don't know that. Uh, so that's what I'm telling you. All right. So are you ready to take a vacation? Uh, maybe. Okay. So when you are ready. What about, uh, what we, you know. When you are ready, when you, Zelina, when you are ready to take a vacation, call the office, 316-665-4400. Tell us where you want to go, how long you are staying, where you'll be flying out from, and it will be done for you, and that is it. And then you will tell you how much it will cost you, and that is it. All right. Okay. Cool. Who has a qu another question tonight? Anyone, 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 anyone concerning all that we've been talking about, not just on the travel thing or timeshare, but also on the business side. Rosalind, you had a question. We are listening to you. No, I, I didn't have a... No. Okay. I have that thing. I, I have that. I have that thing that you requested. There was something you requested from me. I have it ready. And uh, after this conference, I will read it out to you. And then we can start the process. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, who again has some, a very important question to ask concerning starting a business? Have you been searching? You want to start a business? You are looking for somewhere in your city? Uh, to rent, and so on. Before you do all of that, talk to me. Talk to my team. Before you do all of that, so that you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay. Something has come to mind. Something um, that I have thought of. There are two things that I have thought of over the years. And one of the things was um, Tassling. What is that? 
buying tax lien. It's more into the on the real estate side of things, but it's a different end, um, a different approach to to um, real estate, where you buy people whose um, taxes are in arrears. You can buy those that those tax liens, and you you hold on to the those liens uh, for a year, and it gives the person time to come up with the money. And if they don't, then the property is yours legally. Okay. So so for example, you a person could own a, a million dollar property, and the, and all the taxes, they could all say $30,000 worth of taxes, that's an arrears. You could purchase that. And then uh, in one year, you, they ask you to hold on for a year. If the, if the homeowner is not able to come up with that money, then you own that property for $30,000. If they come up with the money, then you get your money back. Okay. So I want to know anybody if there's anybody that has um, that know more about that that can expand. Well, you don't it. need to ask that question that way. All you need to do is to say to me and to my team that that is the kind of business. That's why we ask. Do you have a question? If that is okay. the kind of business okay. you want to get into, talk to me and talk to my team about it. That's all you have to do. And we will have the answer for you. We have people in our team who specializes. I have like about 25 different real agents who are part of my group who will answer so any this question. Is something that you want us to, to put out there in this, on, uh, in this conference? Or is that something that you just want us to call the office and ask? Uh, 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 call the office when it comes to the real thing. What we are discussing now is trying to fish to know what people are thinking about the issues we are putting out tonight. But when you are serious, when you are serious about doing it, then you have to call the office, 316-665-4400. When you are ready, you have your money ready, not just to talk about it. When you have the money ready, you're ready to go. You call the office. And whichever state you are in the United States will put you through. If you want to buy, another thing we want to talk to our partners, you want to buy real estate, want to get involved in mortgage, getting loans, all of this, to buy a car, to buy a house, talk to us first about it before you go and start messing your life up out there. All right, next person. Is there anybody who has any other question tonight? All right, if not, this is where we bring this uh, this business side of what we do to an end. If you are keeping quiet, it means that, well, you don't want to be involved in business. Um, but if you just do that because, because it was, we understand. So later, call the office. Only call us. If this is really what you want to do and you have the money to go about it, don't call us to just come and talk. We want people who have the money ready to go. And then when you call, then we'll put you through. And we will tell you how you will go about doing all this. All right. Anybody with any question tonight? If not, I'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. Central. 8 a.m. Eastern. Bye-bye.